The LP60XBT fully automatic belt drive turntable with integral Bluetooth wireless transmitter connects to other audio devices utilizing Bluetooth wireless technology. The turntable supports the SBC and aptX codex using the A2DP Bluetooth profile, compatible with Audio-Technica wireless headphones, speakers, and other Bluetooth devices using the same protocol. Before you can begin using your turntable, it needs to be set up. Carefully unpack the turntable and make certain that you have all of the parts and accessories. Begin by installing the platter and drive belt. Carefully place the platter on the spindle and make certain it is fully seated. Rotate the platter by hand until the rectangular opening with the red ribbon exposes the brass motor pulley. The brass pulley is located in the upper left-hand corner of the turntable, opposite the tone arm. Do not confuse the motor pulley with the white plastic post located near the tone arm. While holding the platter steady, remove the tape securing the red ribbon. The red ribbon is used to install the drive belt onto the motor pulley. Holding both ends of the ribbon, carefully place the belt over the motor pulley. Once the belt is seated in the pulley's groove, carefully remove the ribbon and verify that the belt is not twisted. Next, place the turntable felt mat on the platter. With the tone arm still fastened to its rest, slowly rotate the platter by hand 10 times in a clockwise direction to make certain the automatic mechanism is fully cycled. Next, remove the twist tie securing the tone arm and discard the tie. While holding the tone arm, remove the plastic stylus guard by slowly pulling it forward, being careful not to damage the stylus. For best operation, the turntable should be placed on a solid level surface. With the turntable assembled, the power and audio connections can be made. Connect the power adapter cable to the turntable and plug the adapter into a convenient AC outlet. To use the turntable with another Bluetooth device, they first must be paired or registered. Pairing is like a handshake, allowing the devices using Bluetooth technology to recognize and communicate with one another. Once the pairing process is complete, the devices remain paired even if they are turned off. The LP60XBT can be paired with up to eight compatible Bluetooth devices. However, it will only communicate with one other Bluetooth device at a time. When the LP60XBT is plugged in, the Bluetooth LED flashes blue, indicating the turntable is looking for a paired device. If none are found, the LED turns red. Begin the pairing process by placing the other Bluetooth device close to the turntable. This is to make certain that the pairing process performs correctly. Once paired, the devices can be separated by up to 10 meters or 30 feet line of sight. Next, place the other Bluetooth device in pairing mode. This allows it to discover Bluetooth signals. For this scenario, a Bluetooth speaker will be used. Pressing the pairing button on the speaker causes its LED to blink, indicating the speaker is ready to be paired. Locate the wireless function button and LED on the turntable the LED will flash blue to indicate the turntable is ready to pair. Press and hold the button until the LED flashes red-blue, indicating that the turntable is in pairing mode, awaiting signal from the other device. Once the turntable is successfully paired, the LED will turn solid blue. The turntable will now remain paired with the speaker even if power is turned off. Most Bluetooth devices, including the turntable, will pair fairly quickly. If the turntable does not see the other Bluetooth device after about 30 seconds, the LED reverts to flashing blue. After a few more seconds, it will attempt the pairing process again and flash red-blue for about 90 seconds. If it still has not found a compatible Bluetooth device, the process times out and the LED turns red. If this happens, simply put both devices back into pairing mode and repeat the pairing process. When the LED flashes blue, it means the turntable's Bluetooth transmitter is looking for a paired device. Make certain the other device is turned on and within range of the turntable. When they connect and are paired, the LED will turn solid blue. Depending on the device being paired with the turntable, you may find it works better to place the turntable into pairing mode first, followed by the other device. In some situations, previously paired Bluetooth devices can become unpaired. If this happens, Simply re-perform the pairing process. When the turntable is transmitting via Bluetooth, the Bluetooth receiving device is used to control volume and other audio-related functions. The LP60XBT also provides an analog audio output. 
This output is compatible with traditional phono inputs on amplifiers and receivers, or by using the turntable's built-in magnetic phono preamp, will work with AUGs or line-level inputs on powered speakers, amplifiers, and other devices. If your audio device has its own RIAA magnetic phono preamp, simply set the selector switch on the rear of the turntable to phono, bypassing the turntable's internal preamp. If you are connecting to an AUGS-type line-level input, powered speakers, soundbars, or other devices, place the selector switch in the line position to use the turntable's internal phono preamp. Connect audio devices, such as powered speakers, directly to the turntable's 8-inch mini jack, or use the included 8-inch to RCA cable to connect the turntable to RCA-type phono or auxiliary inputs found on amplifiers and receivers. The turntable includes a plastic dust cover to protect the turntable when not in use. For best results, remove or close the dust cover when playing records. For more information, visit us on the web at www.audio-technica.com.